Hey guys, it's Alicia with Graceful Plants and today we're shopping! So today is grocery day, which means mama gets out of the house without baby Jack and I'm going to take full advantage of being out of the house baby free and we're going to go shop for some plants. So I'm about 30 minutes away from home at our local Lowe's. Uh, it's in Dubuque, Iowa, but it's the closest one to our house. Um, that's pretty much the only place around us that has reliable, a reliable stock of house plants and succulents. Um, we've got a lot of little greenhouses around us, but nothing like this. So I figured I would just take you on inside and see what they got. All right. So we are in Lowe's and it looks like they just got a new shipment of houseplants. So that's pretty exciting. Um, they don't have, look like they have much for succulents, but we'll just go take a peek around and see what they've got for plants. Let's see. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. Let me just push this out of the way. Just a little bit. So they've got some Sansevieria. I really like these just because they're easy. It's like the set them and forget them. You don't have to water them that often and they're really, really hard to kill. Oh. And just some fern, lemon button fern. I like the way the ferns look too, but I don't know. They're just, they're messy. And I don't know. I really don't have a good place for them. Ooh. Pretty sure this is a Hoya. Rubra Wax Plant. Hoya Carnosa Compacta. This is really pretty. Just dirt. So I don't have any Hoyas yet. Maybe I will, uh, maybe I'll add one to my collection today. We'll see. I kind of want to see what else they've got here, since it looks like they've gotten a bunch more since the last time I've been down here. So, some more Golden Pathos, some more Dracaena, I think these are cool too, and a lot of palms, a lot of palms, holy cow. Let's see, I think it's squeezed through here. Ooh, these are pretty. What are these? Cordyline. Frutosia? I'm not sure what that is. That pink is so pretty. I really like that. Oh, we have some more golden pathos on a totem. It's a really good size plant. So, path or er, so like the golden pathos are supposed to be, you know, one of the easiest house plants you can possibly get. Well, I killed mine of everything. I killed my my uh, pathos. Some marble queen pathos. Yep, Marble Queen. So I've got one of these two out on my sun porch. It's doing alright, but... Let's see. A mini variegated lipstick plant. This is really cute. I do have a lipstick plant, but mine is tiny. I mean, really tiny. I really like this. You can kind of see the variegation there. That's so pretty. This one's $15.98. We'll see. That one's a contender, too. Some more variegated Sheflera. Yep. $14.98. Yeah, that's a pretty good size plant for $14.98. Dumb canes. 
lots and lots of dumb canes. Ooh. Red Maranta, I believe. Yep, red player print. See, so mine isn't this full. But, I don't know. This looks like little crispy leaves, but there's a few little babies coming out of there. Ooh, there's another one back there, too. Oh, that one's a lot fuller. Okay, mine is so small. I don't mind it, though. I kind of like getting my plants on the smaller side because I like watching them grow because that's like half the fun, right? Uh, yeah. Spicus Plumia? His name's Sunny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I don't like when they put just, hey, my friends call me Sunny or my friends call me Houseplant. Rainbow Moss. See, to me this looks, this looks dead. I don't know, is it dead? No, it can't be. It's heavy. It was just watered. It's pretty, but yeah, I would always think it that I had killed it. What's this? Bamboo, lucky bamboo shoots. That's different. What would you do with that? Would you just plant it? No. I've never had bamboo before. Two ninety eight. This is pretty. <gasps> okay, so I'm definitely getting this. We're just not going to tell John. So, the Calathea Lubercy. So, I love Calathea. Calathea is, is my thing. I love it. And I do not have this guy. And he's pretty. I mean, he's got some dry, some dry stuff in there, but he just needs a little love. And he's fine. Looks like there's another one back there too. Ooh, that one's got some really big shoots on it. That's only, it's only fourteen ninety eight. That's not terrible. So this is a ZZ. A little guy. We have a bunch of ZZ. For a long time here, I didn't see. They didn't have any ZZ for a really long time. And then the one time that they had a really big pot of it, I grabbed it. Another variegated lipstick plant. And I have a ton of peace lilies. My peace lily is looking really sad. I'll have to do a video on it. I almost successfully killed it, but it's making a comeback. Oh my gosh, look at these little flowers. Oh, how cute. Oh my gosh, what is this? Diathophora? So yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, so that flower is so cute and there's a couple of them on here and the leaves are so soft I've never heard of this before that's cute curly spider plant I love mine I'm obsessed with my curly spider plant obsessed more red maranta it's fern again Oh no, it's beautiful home decor. It looks like some kind of fern. I just, I don't know what kind. What's this guy? Some kind of pepperonia. A BB pepperonia? Does that mean that they don't have like 
when they do that. Isn't that what that means when it says like Peperomia sp? It's just kind of a species. They don't really have a name for it. It's really pretty. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love this stuff. This is some wandering Jew. Is this the burgundy kind? I feel like this is the burgundy kind. I've got the purple, the purple wandering Jew, and it is so pretty. A string of bananas up here. So I don't know what everyone else's experience is with this, but my string of bananas has grown like crazy. Like absolutely just took off. I'll have to put a picture up of it, but I love it. It is just so happy. Rainbow elephant bush. Are these just the regular green kind? Assorted Echeveria. It's a black prince. Oh, and it's got a little baby. Nope, take that back. It's a Echeveria licorice. But it's still got a baby. Let's see. This curly ripple jade. More ripple jades. Spearhead Senecio. They have a bunch of those. Looks like a little little baby elephant bush back there. Ferns, fire sticks. What's this guy? He's kind of hiding in here. Aeonium lily pad. I haven't seen this one before. That's cute. Oh no. Look it. It's like it was fate. 20% off. Oh, John's not going to be happy with me. More coral cactus. Bamboo. What's this guy? Pussy ears? Huh. I guess they do kind of look like cat ears. I've never, I've never seen this one before either. Here's my jam. More Kalen Coey, Chocolate Soldier. Yep. These guys are so cute. The Mimicry. It looks a little rough though. That's 20% off 368. It's like Topsy Turvy. Nope. Cubic Frost. He's definitely seen better days. He's seen some stuff. Cotyledon. White Sprite. Another White Sprite. What? This guy's not even in a pot. More chocolate soldiers over there. Down here we have some aloe. So I had taken some aloe cuttings from my mother-in-law's plant. She's got a huge aloe and I cannot make them happy. I don't know if I'm too much sun, not enough sun. I'm just... They're miserable at my house and it makes me sad. Oh boy. Yeah. So, this is a topsy turvy, or at least it used to be. Ugh. We got some arrangements. Echeveria. I feel like I should know what that is. This is 
curls on Nuremberg. These are all kind of getting stretched out. They're pretty. What's this guy back here? Lots of sharks here. More jade. Oh, these are so cute. Look at these. What are these? Vera Higgins. Oh, I've got some of these. That's probably why I think they're cute. <laughs> chalk sticks. I love these for arrangements. Narrow leaf chalk sticks. Some candy cane at your area. So Tyson's is doing 50% off the other plants right now because everything's on clearance. Um, it's kind of the end of the year, so everything's kind of just getting cleared out. Um, they do have a few succulents left, and not going to lie, I'm probably going to take a few of these home just because I need some for a project that I'm doing. Um, So these guys have been outside, so I mean they're pretty saturated. But for what these cost on clearance, it's worth it because even like something like this guy, he's stretched out, but I can take the bottom leaves, propagate him, cut him off, and He'll be good to go again. Um, Black Prince Petrimeria. There's a topsy turvy here, but he's looking a little rough. Um, lots of red gray Echeveria. These guys. I mean, they don't look terrible. Some jade. Probably gonna take one of these fire sticks with me. Just because they are so cheap. But yeah, this is what we've got at Tyson's. This is what's left. Alright, so I just got back home and I didn't come home with as many plants as I would have liked. Uh, it was good. Jen should appreciate that. There was definitely quite a few plants that I really liked that I don't have that I really would have liked to bring to my house. But I didn't. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.